Hi, this is a demonstration of AnyConnect connecting to Okta IDP uh, using SAML. So here I have my AnyConnect client and I'm running uh, uh, version 4.9, 5042. If you're running anything lower, um, I suggest you upgrade, but it's not required to run 4.9. Okay, just 4.9 has a lot of fixes. Um, but still, let's see, we can go through um, connection pro right here. So you can use your AnyConnect profile or for a demonstration sake, I'm just going to type the actual URL that connect to right into here. So I have one call Okta. So it's my Irvine DMZ 4115 cisco.com slash Okta. I'm going to hit connect. And now I'm going to get prompted for Okta authentication. So I'm being redirected to the Okta authentication portal within the AnyConnect framework here. That's my name, password, and at the same time, I have Duo multi-factor authentication enabled, integrated into this uh, Okta uh, SAML authentication process. It's not required, it's just optional. I just happen to have it, so I use it. I send myself a push, then on my phone, I get a pop-up from Duo saying authentication request. I'm gonna hit approve. All right, then my VPN session is established. I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up just some information, ignore all the other miscellaneous modules really just the VPN that we're interested in. So you can see that uh, my VPN session, I'm connected, doing split, tunneling, include. That's my IP address, 10, 11, 41. And so I've got bits and bytes, transmit and receive. So it's all good, so I'm connected. And let me go ahead and get into the uh, firepower management side for FTD 6.7. So this is running 6.7. Uh, I can see that analysis, so activity, active sessions. I have uh, JE Lin, my active session that's been uh, logged, 10.11.40. Okay. Now on the VPN side, I'm going to go into devices, RA VPN. And here's that RA VPN policy that I created. And within this RA VPN policy, I have multiple connection profiles Okta, Azure regular username, password. So let's go ahead and take a look at Okta. My connection profile is called Okta, a group policy called group policy Okta. And then here's just a client address, a regular AnyConnect configuration. That's my VPN pool, DHB server, I have one, I don't. Um, my authentication here, now I'm, uh, I'm picking SAML. Usually we're used to picking, you know, AAA certificate, et cetera, but in this case, I'm just doing SAML. Then my authentication server, the field below, is my Okta SSO server. And I'll show you how that's created in, in a few seconds here. Then my authorization, I'm still pointing this over to ICE because I have it in case I need to do uh, you know, posture or some sort of COA as well as accounting. Okay, But you can leave these blank if you wanted to. And then the alias is just, uh, this is my alias name for the connection. And then this is the group URL that I connected to, right? herbdmz 4115d at cisco.com slash Okta. Okay, again, but you can embed all this information in any kind of XML profile for the client. Uh, group policy, I pretty much left everything as almost default here. I have a VPN protocol. I'm simply using SSL. There's an IP address pool you can specify here. Banner, nothing, DNS, this is my DNS information. I enable split tunneling in here with the ACL that I'm matching. And then any connect, uh, again, I'm not pushing down any profiles, but if you wanted to, you can uh, upload the any connect connection profiles into here that'll get downloaded to the client. And same thing for the management profile, management tunnel profile, same thing. And then the modules, SSL, all that, I just left as default because it's just sort of simple and clean here. Okay, so back to my uh, this Okta SSO server. Where did I configure that? I go into objects. Let me just create another new tab. Uh, 
Okay, I go into the AAA single sign on server. And you see here there's an Okta SSO that I created by using the add single sign on button here. And here that's where I fill that in. So this is where the Okta SSO single sign on server that I picked within my device profile you saw earlier. Okay. Then now this is the SAML configuration that I need to get from Okta. So this is pointing to my Okta. So I have my Okta portal running. I logged in my Okta portal in the background. And if you go into applications, you can see the list of my applications that I have configured. And my, the one I'm using now is a VPN, FTD VPN 6.7. So I go into that one. And then I'll look at the single sign-on configurations. Okay, and you can you can pretty much just leave most of this blank. Well, you don't have to configure anything. Go and look at the uh, view setup instructions right here. It's uh, Okta does a pretty good job of telling you how to configure it. So they actually pre-populate your. Um, you have the certificate here. You'll need to download in a second here, but like for example the. You can, for ASA, you can use CLI, but here, for example, these on step number uh, seven, here we go, starting with six, right? This is the uh, entity ID that you need to copy and paste into um, FMC, Firepower Management Center. So this is the entity ID, which is called the S SAML SDP. So go into here and copy it into the uh, identity provider, because that's Okta. Then there's a single sign on URL and a logout URL. Grab the information from here. This is the sign out URL or SSO, sorry, SSO dash SAML. So cut, cut and paste that into here. That's the SSO SAML. And then there's a logout URL. That you'll grab down here. This is the uh, logout. Okay, so go and cut and paste this long string into your FM, FMC in here. That's it. So those are three values. And then you have your base URL. That's my uh, basically the fully qualified domain name of my appliance. And then the identity certificate, which you'll need to import. So you need to grab the certificates from here, cut and paste this, save it and import it so we're done here and leave the rest of it uh, blank import it into i'm gonna hit cancel import it into the category called pki certificate enrollment and here's the octa saml so paste that certificate from the octa portal into here configure your enrollment type to be manual Check the CA only, so make sure you check this because you're not generating additional identity certificates from Okta. And then do make sure you check the skip CA check. And basically, you're not doing a validation of the certificate. You're trusting it because you're importing it directly from the Okta uh, SAML uh, provider there. Okay, so this step must be done here. So that's your Okta SAML. So once that is done, again, it goes back to here. That's your Okta SAML you're pointing to. Right here, that's the identity provider certificate, and then the uh, the service provider right here is basically your identity sort of your Firepower or ASA appliance, but it's not really required because that's, there's no asterisk behind the title here like these other ones. This one has an asterisk, so it needs to have a certificate. So just leave the rest of it blank. Uh, check this reauthentication re of login and hit save. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Then the last step you have to do is go into devices, go into certificates. Okay, let's go back to RABPN real quick, and then we'll jump to certificates, more certificates. I want to review, since I'm doing Okta, look, take a look at the access interface. My FTD appliance, um, I have it configure the, uh, the I guess the global certificate points to my local lab uh, CA. So it's I have a Windows 16, 2016 CA that's managing certificate for all of my devices. So that's my uh, global certificate that I trust. And then um, 
Let's see here, advanced. There's really not much to do in the advanced screen except just to, I just uploaded my AnyConnect images for Mac and Windows, okay? And then uh, one last step you need to do is the certificates here. Go into the devices, certificates, because you gotta get the certificates uh, deployed to the appliance. So what you would do is hit the add button, add, pick the device, in my case it's the Firepower 4115, and certificate enrollment, I want to enroll in whichever IDP. So I have three listed here, and I've already done so earlier. You can see here I have a Windows 2016 CA. So when I added the Windows 2016 CA, um, I it downloaded the Windows 2016 CA certificate. Well, actually, I actually added that earlier as well in the PKI section. But here, um, there will be a little icon here uh, for identity. A certificate of my device of my firepower plant and if you click on this this is where well this is showing you my sign certificate but before you do this when you click on this it'll actually generate a CSR for you a certificate signing request of your uh, appliance and you cut and paste that CSR into your uh, in, in our case it's my Windows 26 and CA I cut and paste it into there have it sign and then I downloaded that signed certificate back into here. Okay, so you can see this is the result of it. I have a uh, issuer is the 2016 root ZA and my son and my device is the 4115 appliance. So that'll get done here then. But you also got to do the same thing for Okta. So it'll just trust that Okta certificate SAML certificate that we installed earlier. Uh, so it'll be placed here. We're not generating an identity certificate from Okta. That's why we had check one of those check boxes. And then after when this is done, and you do the same thing for Azure if you're adding to the Azure. And then you just simply hit deploy. That's it. And then you're done. Now, um, one last final step to do is in the Okta portal. So we, we've taken metadata from Okta IDP and configure it into my Firepower plant. But now we need to take some Firepower information and configure it into the Okta IDP here. So these are the assertion, consumer service URL, entity ID, and the logout service. So here you would grab this from your FTD or ASA appliance. So you can simply SSH into your appliance and then once you get into your appliance or my FTD appliance, I go into the, um, uh, show you right here. I logged in and then I went into, let's see here. Yeah, so yeah, log into the Lena site. Once you log into FTD, you're actually on the firepower side and you just need to type in system support diagnostics diag to get you into this screen. And then once, and then, um, once you get into this, uh, here we go, system support diagnostics CLI, and that logs you in from the firepower side into the ASA portion of the code where you can get the metadata of, uh, for SAML authentication. So you issue a command called show SAML metadata, and then your connection profile for me, I call it Okta. And then once you do that show command, this is where you grab the entity ID right there, and you copy this into the Okta right here, entity ID. So you copy it into here, same thing with the assertion consumer service URL. I take the assertion consumer service and I cut and paste this URL. I finish with Okta inside the quotation mark here. Copy that into right there. And then the sign out URL would be the single logout service, and that's the actual uh, URL. You just cut and paste from here and put it into here. Okay, and that's really it. Um, 
it's pretty simple with Okta. And don't forget, once you configure SAML settings, you make sure you enable your assignment because you have to allow users to use this specific application that you just created here. Okay, and uh, that's it. Hopefully it's simple enough. And uh, if you can get yours working, awesome. Send me a note if you have any uh, thoughts or questions. Thanks for watching.